On today's episode of Camp Lebanon Line, Teddy takes a nap, action songs, aerobics with Jim, a message from Marin, a special guest host. Let's go! Hey everyone, welcome to Camp Lebanon Line, episode 8. Punch it, Chewy! <laughs> Welcome to episode 8 of Camp Lebanon Online. We've got a lot of fun stuff to jump into today, but before we get into all of that, uh, let's find out what Teddy's been up to today. Tell me about Teddy. Oh, what's Teddy been up to today? Pretty much slept all day. And he does, you know, he gets into comfy spots and he falls asleep and he enjoys his time. <sighs> Some days I wish I was like Teddy. But there's work to be done. And today that work is to bring you Camp Lebanon Online. And the coolest thing about today is we have a special guest host with us. That's right, Mariah Simonson is going to come into the studio and she's going to help me host this episode. So let's, let's see, uh, Mariah, are you there? Yeah, Rich, I'm here. What's up, everybody? Mar Mariah. R Rich? Well, I can't. She's not here yet. We have some but technical I, difficulties. We'll, but I am here. We'll get her later. It'll be no. fine. But uh, let's go into the next thing. And you know what time it is. It's time for action songs with Rich and Friends. This first song has a very complicated clapping part in it. It is called Precious Cornerstone. And there's a part where you need to clap, clap, clap. Clap, 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 clap. Get ready for it. And the second song, it's, it's just one of our old camp favorites. And uh, you need a friend because it's Lean On Me. Let's go sing. Like a God, no, there is no rock like a 
when you're not strong And I'll be your friend And I'll help you carry on It won't be long Till I'm gonna need Somebody so excited for this four o'clock option it's going to be uh mariah rich can you still not hear me are you serious we're still working it out we'll we'll fix it i promise but up next is four o'clock option with jim who likes pools let's go see what jim's up to howdy my name is jim and i like pools and welcome to jim's cool pool jim it's going to be a good time today. We're going to get some moving in. Uh, and what better thing to do than to exercise in a pool? Uh, but unfortunately, I don't got a pool today, but I got my living room. So this is going to be Jim's Cool Pool Jim Living Room Edition. Here we go. You're going to need a few things to be prepared today. Item number one, you're going to need a cowboy hat. And I don't have my cowboy hat with me. It's at my studio. So any old hat will do. Make sure you grab one. Second thing, you're going to need a life jacket. And I don't have my life jacket. It's at the studio. But any old jacket will do. Make sure you find a jacket. And lastly, you're going to need some swim trunks. But uh, my swim trunks are packed away until summer starts. And so I just got my shorts on. So any old trunks will do. Uh, except elephant trunks. Those don't work at all. All right, so we're going to do some exercise. Uh, make sure to get your equipment. Pause the video if you need to get those ready. And, and once you come back, we're going to do some exercises. All right? Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do uh, in our pool, in our imaginary pool, put your thinking cap on, we're going to do some arm swirls. And we're going to start out small. All right? Start out small. Join in with me here. Here we go. Make them bigger and bigger and bigger. And now they're super big. Oh, loosen up those shoulders. Okay, stop. Okay, now we're gonna reverse, we're gonna go backwards. Start out small, and get bigger, and bigger, oh here we go, and, and swing them like crazy. We're splashing the water everywhere. Whew, now we're all loosey goosey. All right, here's one of my next favorites. This one is called the Twirly Teacup, or for you cool kids, it can be called the Tenacious Tea Pose. Here we go. You're going to put your arms out like this, and we're going to swing back and forth, all right? And we're going to start out small and get bigger and bigger. Here we go. Ready? T-pose with me. Here we go. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. All right, now a little quicker. A little quicker. Here we go. Here we go. Faster, faster, faster. Little more, little more. And stop. Wow, that was a fun one. All right, now we're gonna get into some swimming. 
the first swim stroke we're gonna do is the backstroke, one of my favorite. All right, so you're gonna lay on your back and swim. We're gonna go five times across the screen. Here we go, are you ready with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Wow, that was fun. Next one we're gonna do is the front stroke. We're just gonna go like this. All right, five times across the screen. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, and five. That was a fun one. Last one we're gonna do is probably my favorite. We're gonna do the doggy paddle or the kitty paddle if you like that better. But here we go, five times across the screen, just doggy paddle. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, and five. That was some good movement for today. What fun. I I'll see you next time, and I hope it's in a pool. See ya! Everybody, I hope you're all loosened up from those water aerobics, because now it's time for you to sit down and listen, because we have a great speaker that uh, is going to teach a little bit out of God's Word. I'm going to let Mariah introduce her. All right, guys, so we have this uh, really great speaker from... Wait, can, we you got not this fixed. can you not hear me? Oh, well. Rich, I'm here. Up next, we get to hear from Marin Fireisen, who is the kids director at Revive Church in Brooklyn Park. Let's see what she has to say. Hey, kids, and welcome to today's episode of Camp Lebanon Line. I hope you've been enjoying it as much as I have. My name is Marin Fireisen, and I'm very excited to share a short diva with you all today. But first, let me um, let me just um eat some of this peanut butter vanilla fudge gelato. Doesn't that look good? And uh, eat some Ritz bits. Oh, those are just mm, crunchy, cheesy, delicious. Oh yes, and then my favorite is puff corn. What if I just ate all of this kind of stuff all day, every day during quarantine? Do you think that that would be very healthy for me? Do you think I would get some really good nutrients into my body that way? Probably not, right? Well, I don't know about you, but I've enjoyed watching some of my favorite shows and reading some books when I start to feel anxious or scared during quarantine time. But are watching those TV shows and reading those books and playing those games, is that really going to help my mind and my heart feel at peace and not be afraid? No, just like this junk food is tastes pretty good to eat, if that's all I'm eating and all I'm putting into my body, it's not going to be healthy for me in the long run. Just like watching shows and reading books and playing with toys the whole time isn't going to be good for our minds either. But I'm here today to tell you about something that's even better than those things. I really love fruit. It's sweet. It's good for me. It helps my body go all day every day. And just like the fruit is really good for your body and healthy and nutritious, something that's gonna be good for your mind to help you when you're afraid or feeling discouraged is reading from the Bible, reading God's Word. When I was young, my parents taught me that when I was afraid, I should think of Bible verses or if my Bible was nearby, that I should take it out and I should read it and then pray to God and that that would help me when I was afraid. So we're going to try that out today, my friends. I'm going to read to you one of my favorite Psalms. And while I read it, I want you to be thinking in your brain, really picturing what's happening. And I want you to notice how your mind and how your heart will feel better, how you will feel more at peace after reading God's word. Should we start? We're going to read Psalm 46, so go ahead and close your eyes and listen. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though 
the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though the sea's waters roar and foam and the mountains tremble with their quaking, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter, he lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes wars stop to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow, shatters the spear, and burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in all the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Okay, you can go ahead and open your eyes, my friends. How did that make you feel? Really thinking about and visualizing and picturing the God of hosts. Hosts of angels are at his beck and call. And that's the very same God who is with us right now. Even though the world might seem crazy, even though there might be some things that we're afraid of happening, this is telling us that God is with us. And the God of Jacob is our fortress. That means he protects us, friends. So there's all these crazy things that are happening in this psalm. And my favorite part, though, is what God tells us to do. Even though all these crazy things are happening, in verse 10 it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in all the earth. So what are we supposed to do, friends? Well, I want to encourage you to make healthy choices when you're feeling afraid, when you feel like you need peace. It's good and fun to play games and to read books and to watch shows that are okay, but that can't be what we do all the time and that can't be where we turn to find strength and to find healing. Where we have to turn is the Word of God because that's like eating a really delicious tasty fruit. That's what's going to help give us peace and that's what's going to help us turn to God and be given strength and encouragement from Him. So friends, I want you today to be still and know that God is the Lord over everything. He says that here. He is our refuge. He is our strength. Turn to him, my friends. Be filled with him and be encouraged today. I'm praying for you and God bless. Thanks, Maren. That is a great word for us and good teaching for us to think on for the rest of today um, and as we go throughout the rest of our week. Now, we've, I think we've got this worked out. Mariah, are you there? Hey, guys. Hey, Mariah. Guys, Mariah is here. Well, just... Just in time for the yeah, end. Right at the end. Um, all right, I guess that'll work. Mariah, do you want to send them out? Sure. Uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. We've had a great time. And remember, God is faithful even in the uncertain times. Perfect. We'll see you all next time. Why can't Camp Lebanon be all year long? 365 days a year, 366 days on leap year.